What is up, guys? Storm on Doors back with another episode. Today, I'm going to be do doing a video based off of the comments. Everybody in the comments has been asking me to do a catch and cook. So today, we're going to be doing some chippy hunting. And we're going to get the biggest chippy we can and cook her up for dinner. Stay tuned, guys. Should be a pretty interesting episode. You'll be able to learn a lot of new things about chippy hunting. Stay tuned and enjoy the show. Alright, guys. Once again, we're using the Gamma Raptor. Really good gun with the piranha pellets. And we're going to be off this rock wall again. They just keep coming back. So stay tuned. I think we'll get some action. The chippies are up. They're moving. Might even be able to cook a couple of them, like two or three. We'll see. Alright guys, now we got the chippy, let's move on to the second part of this video, let's get to skinning it, and then we'll cook it. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be um, skinning this chippy, um, I'm using the Buck USA knife, it's a little bit smaller of a knife, hopefully you can see it, but it's really sharp. Alright, so first, what I usually do, is I take... Pinch the back up a little bit, and I cut the skin from there, and it pe goes off like that in a little lip. Then I usually stick my hand in there, holding down the chippy, and I pull straight back. And as you can see, that just comes straight off. Now, if you really want to keep the fur and everything, that you can do it a different way. But for now, I'm just getting the meat off of it. See how I'm just working it back like that? And usually on chippies it comes right off because they're such small animals. So peel back to right there. So you get this far, and I don't really need any of the other, I don't need the tail, so I can clip the tail off real quick. Like so, the tail's off, there goes that. Throw it in the bucket. And now you only want to clip, clip the ends of the feet off, that's all you need to clip off. Hear them snap, pull them off. And if you really want, you can keep the tail and everything and the extra feet and the paws. And then if one of you guys really wants this, I could give it to you if you guys want. I could send it to you in the mail, dry it out for you. All right, and then you do the same thing for the top part, making sure not to burst the intestines because that's not a good thing to do. Just keep working this back. Let's move that out of the way. See how I'm just slowly pulling. You don't want to pull too hard or else it could really. And look at that. Perfect headshot. No, no damage to the meat. All the meats will be perfectly fine. Perfect little chippy right through the head. That's like perfect. Alright. So now I'm going to take the arms. Cut the arms off. Alright. Work the other leg down right there. Because you do not want to be eating paws. I mean, you guys go for it. But I am not interested in eating paws. Alright, so you just keep pulling on this one. Alright, so now, obviously, warning. This is kind of graphic, so I hope 
if you you guys can shut it off and skip to the end where I'm cooking. But please, if you do not like this, do not watch the rest. As you can see, this bullet split the skull right in half. But that's we don't need the skull, so it's kind of nice that it did that. We just need right up to the shoulder blades. And we can just discard the rest of this. We can just get rid of that in the bucket. Alright, now we have this like chicken looking thing. If you can see that. And now what I like to do is open up the middle. And I, I said it already. Warning, do not watch if you don't like this part guts. You're going to take your knife and you're going to split it right up the middle. I like to go on an upward angle though. I don't like to try getting into the intestines because that just... It does not smell good at all. So just split it right up the middle, like so. You can kind of just lift up the skin as you're doing so. It's kind of like a deer almost. And you keep doing this right up through the rib cage. With a sharp knife, it really helps. I like this knife, it's a buck knife. Well, it's not really for bucks, but it's called a buck knife. But yeah, I really like this knife. Works good and is nice and sharp. Alright, now that you got the cavity all open and split up, now you can see right there, it doesn't smell too bad. But now you're going to take it from the head and you're going to just start peeling everything back. Everything out. Making sure it gets all cleaned out. So I'm getting it all cleaned out, getting the liver out, getting everything out, putting it in a bucket. There's the lungs. That would have been cool if it would have been a double lung shot. I'm going to cool show you guys. But it was a heart shot. I mean a head shot, so not much to show. Peel any of the extra fat off, cut it off if you really need to. You don't want to be cooking too much fat when, you're, when it's on the stove, it won't taste the best. Yeah. For some reason, this one has it on both sides, a lot of fat, so, which is good. It means it's nice and plump and ready to eat. It's going to taste nice and good on the stove. Oops. All right, guys, now that we got them all cleaned up, we got all the insides cleaned off, we'll go ahead and cut this spinal spot off we don't need that that's just extra garbage we don't want got them all nice and cleaned up nice and dressed ready to go i like to split down by the groin area i like to split that right in half make sure there's nothing make sure there's nothing in there nope cleaned out and there you guys have it the rib cage is clean as you can see that's a perfectly clean chippy now we're gonna have the fun of cooking it for dinner. Stay tuned guys, we'll get right into it. Alright guys, alright guys, I have ice on it right now because I have to wait a while for, my, for, for to, um, the meat to cool down a little bit. So I have it in ice and I'm going to set it in the freezer, refrigerator. Let's go put it in the refrigerator. The fridge. Let me just toss her in there. There you go. <laughs> My mom's going to appreciate that one. All right. All right, guys. So first off, we're going to start with olive oil. And we're just going to kind of roll it in olive oil. Get it all nice and seasoned. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So we'll get it all seasoned up and we'll get it on the frying pan. Nice. Get it nice and cooked up. Go. All right. So I'm going to be using some pepper. Load some pepper on there. Get it nice and, because you don't want this thing smelling like game or tasting like game. Put a little dab of salt on there. All right, next we're going to be using my kicking chicken. Just a tiny hair of that stuff. You don't want too much. It's a little much, but. Oh, now you got to use this good old lemon. Ooh, lemon just hits the spot. Just makes that extra oomph in it. Just kicks it a little bit. A little bit there. Perfect. All right, now we're going to try some of this, um, Garlic sauce, I mean, I've never tried it, but full send. 
Get some of this. Ooh, ooh. You guys smell that? Mmm, smells good. Oh, is that kicking hot? Whew. That is one spi one interesting meal. All right, we're gonna get some garlic in there. Oh, it's gonna be ripping. Just a tad. I don't want a lot because this is. All right, now we're gonna get the burner flying, and we'll see you. Hit pause. Hit pause. All right, guys, it's looking good so far. She's cooking up. Let you know and keep going. We just have it at a level six, so that's about all we need right now. And it's cooking pretty good. All right, guys, we're gonna set a cover over it. Let it cook a little nicer. We'll let you know how it goes. Looking pretty good, guys. Keep her going. All right, guys, there you have it, my chippy. It's all set to eat. We're gonna eat this thing. See how good it tastes. All right, guys, to spice it up a little bit, I'm using this um, Cholulu uh, hot, hot sauce. Just spice it up a little bit, but just dive right into this thing. I'm a little nervous. Never tried chippy before. Ooh, it's looking good. So let's see here. I'll start with the back leg. That's looking like the best for me right now. Ooh, it's nice and tender. Oh, oh. This is looking better than I was thinking. All right, guys, here we go. Full send. Chippy, bon appetit. It's actually not bad. That wasn't bad. We'll try some more. Get some more of the legs going. But that hot sauce, it just kills the game out of it. There's no games taste in it. So we'll get some more. It's a little tough, but that's it's kind of normal for a small game animal. But it's not bad at all. I like it kind of. I was watching some YouTube videos about about this, kind of nervous, but after doing it, it's not bad at all. And I cooked it perfect too, so it just tastes phenomenal. That hot sauce really helps. Oh, that's good. I recommend you guys doing this. This is actually phenomenal. Shout out to Gamma. I wouldn't have been able to do this without their gun. Their guns are just so accurate. I can just pinpoint these things and just drill them right in the head so I can, don't have to eat lead <laughs> but I read your guys' comments did the video for you guys I hope you guys like today's episode um, if you guys want me to do anything new just text me in the description I'll try it I'm going to finish up this chippy here and another great announcement at 75 subscribers I'm going to be doing a giveaway so you guys got to there's 5 more subscribers I need 5 more 5 more guys come on now you got this and you guys get a good good fishing giveaway. You guys got this. Stay tuned for more, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and have a good day.